Hi everybody, thanks for joining us here on Geek Deck Industries. Uh, Stick is here and I got Brennan just across the way. Say hi Brennan. Hi. So uh, we are down here at Gauntlet Games recording some gameplay. Um, I've got my scum list that I've been testing out and Brennan's got a beautiful looking imperial list. So Punish your swarm. So good. So while uh, we're placing our rocks and debris, which one did you place? I just placed this one here. So while we're doing that, um, why don't you tell us really quick what you're flying, Brennan? Well, I got Death Rain Punisher, which I'm finding is a standard build so for new upgrades. So the bomblet generator for some maneuverability, some unguided rockets. Because you really just don't build them without that. Sensor jammer and lightweight frame to make them live. And then he's accompanied by an obsidian squadron pilot. Uh, Wampa and a few academies just to nice. clog the table and just to be like look at all my TIE fighters pretty much awesome, awesome. so uh, facing off against that you placed that I did okay so facing off against that I currently have uh, Captain Nim in the Havoc uh, with uh, Veteran Instincts Long Range Scanners Bomblet Generator Cruise Missile Accuracy Corrector Auto Blaster Turret and Genius <sighs> sorry it's, it's a lot to say all in one go um, backing him up, I got Fen Rao, Concord Dog Protector Title, Push the Limit, and Auto Thrusters, and then Unkar Plot in the Quad Jumper with the Space Tug Tractor Array, Pattern Analyzer, Cicatro Visago, and the Cloaking Device. Of course, Cicatro lets you um, swap yeah, out your you. illicit for a different illicit, kind of giving you like an illicit sideboard, um, as it were. Uh, Oh, and that's at least one there. Okay, so we've got our debris placed. We're going to get into placing our ships in just a moment. Of course, Brendan's going to place his ones Start first, my ones. and then we'll move on from there. So uh, I do want to apologize a bit for the background noise. It's a full house tonight. It's uh, it's really nice to see the, the place so full. So we've got a uh, looks like a magic tournament going on. Some folks playing hero clicks. Uh, looks like some folks are sitting down playing some munchkin across the way. It's great to see. Okay, there's the ones. There's your little block of tie fighters, eh? All right, so. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out proper placement for this list, so you'll have to bear with me. Oh, I guess I should probably should add my three down before this, yours. This marks uh, seventh flight of this build. I made a couple of modifications to Nim. Originally, I had uh, advanced sensors on him, which was good. But I found I wasn't able to guarantee enough damage out of him, so uh, I found accuracy corrector and auto blaster way better. <laughs> Right there. That's right there. Good enough, he says. Good enough. All right, so then I've got uh, Fen Rao at nine here. And then Captain Nim. Is awesome new hotness. Okay. I'm set. Are you set, sir? I'm set. Okay. Let's get some dials in. I'm going to get the timer started. I'm coming for that bounty. Bounty, booty, one of those. A bounty is booty? Is that it? Bounteous booty. Bounteous we'll booty. Take that. Death Rain's got that bounteous booty. We're coming for it. We're coming for it. You got no chance, I tells you. Let's see. First little lightweight frame and sensor jet. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of defense. Don't get me wrong. Constantly dropping the bombs to try to not be snuck up on. 
Yeah, so can Nim probably. affect? Uh, he can only affect his own bombs when he's dropped, right? Um, this, uh, this is Scum Nim, so he doesn't stop bombs from going off. Um, he ignores his own bombs. Ignores, ignores uh, well, ignores friendly bombs. Okay. And then when a friendly ship is defending, if you're shooting through a bomb, it gets an extra evade result. That doesn't really come into play because my bombs go off at the end of activation. Got if, I, if I had, uh, say, a Connor net or a cluster bomb or something like that, and I had those spread out all, uh, over, the, over the board and you were shooting through it, that would give the extra defense. Okay, I'm dialed in. Brandon is just finishing himself off here. And by that I mean he's that's dialing the best, no, that's, in. No, that's yeah. probably one of the most, that's one of the best ways to do it. Always <laughs> satisfying. And you know exactly when it's going to finish. Yep. Okay. All right, good luck. Good luck. Okay, so ones, give her. My ones. Here we go. Start on this side. Break two bank. Go, TIE Fighters, go! Look at you, just wee! There, this one here. I three. Oh. Uh -huh. So Brennan, if you guys have seen him on the uh, channel before, he's uh, pretty much a straight um, Imperial Flyer. That's what he does. He's all about Imperial Flight Discipline, flying those Imperial Navy ships. And uh, racking people with swarms of TIE Fighters. How's that gonna work? It's quite beautiful. Go another focus. Sorry? Oh no, go right ahead, guys. Um, is there enough room for you guys? Oh yeah, no, Okay, okay. Uh, we got some magic guys moving in next door, so that's what's happening, folks. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I just handed over here all uh, I got no, initiative, right? Now. So my three goes first. My three goes before yours, right? Yep. Initiative. Yeah, I gave initiative because I wanted to be able to respond and potentially throw your three around. Now, this does mean that your three gets to shoot before mine, but uh, it's not really a big thing for me. Okay, so then Mr. Unkar Platt. Mr. Unkar Platt is going to do a forward three. I'm sure that comes as a big surprise. That's pretty much the fastest move in his arsenal. Oh. Right there. That's what he's got. Uh, and well, then, the exception of the K turn on the Punisher. Three straight threes, they're fast. Yep. yep. Uh, you've also got boost on the Punisher, though, right? But, yes. Uh, so that does help. He is going to cloak up. I'm just going to tuck that in there because I will never be de cloaked. You get, oh, okay. Uh, I'll show you. At, when, at end phase, you'll figure it out. We'll see. Okay. So you're four, four. and then you're six. Street two for Wampa. Goes there. 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 And the Punisher also on a straight two. And no fighting is going to happen, so we'll throw out. A little boost. Set. Done. There you go. Uh, nine. Fenrau's doing a forward five. Because he loves fast. He's as fast as he can fast and then some faster. And uh, going to... Going to boost. There's Finn. He's not going to push the limit this turn because there's no point in picking up any stress. Uh, and then Nim is going to do a forward four. Wants to get in here quick before I can set myself up. Eh? Well, he's hoping. He's hoping. And uh, he's going to use long range scanners to pick up a target lock on Death Ray. Okay. The old 
January, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a toss-up for me between uh, long-range scanners and uh, guidance chips. Yeah. I think long-range scanners is better because then I can pick up that target lock and try to go fast to get my cruise missile off. So that's that. No, no attacks for the, in the attack. Yeah, nothing. So we get to end of combat. We got anything there? Nope. End phase. Nothing, nothing fancy. At the start of the end phase, Sicatro trades out the cloaking device for a black market slicer tools on Ankar Plot. So now I no longer have the cloaking device, okay. which means I can't recloak, but I keep my cloak token and I don't have to roll for it to fall off anymore. I can never recloak. Can never attack. That's well, as long as I stay cloaked. If I decloak, I can never get it back. That seems weird that there's not an FAQ on that. You don't um, have a cloaking device. Nope. So how are you cloaked? Because I still have the cloak token on me. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking thematically. I always think yeah, thematically. Yeah, I know. Uh, you got rid of the thing. Imagine that my cloaking device is, is broken and I can decloak. I, I, I can stay, as long as I stay cloaked, I'm okay. But I can never decloak it. It doesn't I can sit well with me thematically. Yeah. <laughs> you really think that you've actually gotten rid of the whole device that keeps you cloaked. Yes. So how is that not like Jabba the Hutt kind of thing? Where it's like you lose Jabba, you because don't get Because the cloak token it. specifically has an effect that goes with it. All the cloaking device does is allow you the cloak action. Okay. I guess so. Uh, okay, so that's his thing. End phase, we sweep tokens, set minutes. My tokens are swaps. Okay. These three fellas. Many TIE fighters this time. Okay. See, I get I get basically one strategic decloak with this guy, and then he's done. He's done his thing. Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun. This is one of those things, kind of supplies, got to do the whole like. Shake your head. You showed up with this stuff, like the Jabba the Hutt. Of course you still have it if he's not there. The scum, you already put that thing it's in the there. scum shenanigans, though. Yeah. Right? yeah. But like, you showed up with the cloaking device, and then you got rid of it. I get that it's like a game mechanic. Yeah. It's just, that only allows you to take the action. Well, the token means this, but it's like, how are you cloaked? You are cloaked, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, way I, the way I look at it is, uh, Fizago goes into his... Uh, uh, cargo hold starts rummaging around all the things he's looted and is like alright disconnect that cloaking device we'll click this thing in instead I guess so yeah it's a way to look at it yeah. seems fair I was trying to find a thematic way that these yeah. mechanics work so that I can sort of explain it like like when people are like well it's stupid why can't I shoot when I'm on the rock well think about it if you've got a giant asteroid hurtling at your face are you going to take the time to line up and eat a nice shot on that dude over there? Or are you going to be like, oh shit, I should not get hit by that giant rock? I'm going to go with the oh shit, I should not get hit by the giant rock thing. Just saying. This is going to be so much fun. I'm so nervous. This list is about 50-50 for me right now. I have three wins, three losses. So, ooh, this is the first time I've faced a large number of uh, Imperial ships. Okay. So, so the bright, and I've never faced Captain You never Mirror, faced off him. So. So, yeah. Okay. Great. Once. Go for it. Here we go. Take a one. Hard turn here. Let me buy number five. Yeah, I figured you would. There, Academy Pilot number four. Surprise, surprise. Yes. Look at that tight flying. I, I'm telling you, this guy, 
if you need to learn Imperial Flight Discipline, watch any of the... Uh, uh, Not any of them, just okay. this Watch one. a bunch of the Maybe. stuff that we've done with Brennan, and you will see some tight Imperial flying. This gentleman knows where his art, where uh, his ships are going, and knows where those bases are going. It is very seldom that his TIE fighters bump unless there is something blocking up the conga line. Okay, so they're all in. And all my ones. Three. And my three is first as well, that's yep. right. So we're turning around. Okay, turn. Yep. City has stressed himself. And Mr. Plot. Mr. Plot. When you're this plot, they call you Mr. He's going to do a bank three. There you go. And uh, his action will be to focus. Uh, the, your four and then your six. Four is taking a turn two. Focus. And right here is straight three. Straight three. And okay. Not exactly what I was expecting, but it'll do. It'll do. But boost. I will boost. Plot's doing next turn. Uh, Fen Rao is going to do a forward three. I wasn't sure if you were going to try and charge up here and uh, get uh, bumping on Fen, but apparently that's not what you're doing. So, so and then Fen is going to uh, boost. And push the limit to focus. Uh, all right, and then Nim is going to do a bank three. And he will also, whoops, he will also focus. All right, well, shots are happening. This um, time, so. Start of combat, I don't have any start of combat shenanigans, really. I have none either. Okay. <laughs> So start uh, top of the stack. Nim's gonna launch his cruise missile. I did a three-speed maneuver. That's three dice, right? So I get four dice. Um, I need to have a target lock on you, but I don't have to spend it. I believe that is going to be obstructed. Closest to closest is yeah, just over the corner of that debris. Okay. So then. So you're gonna get two because it's a secondary. Now, you're also going to get lightweight frame. So you're going to roll another one after roll you roll that. Yeah. So here we go. Um, there is a hit and a crit, and I'll spend the target lock on the other two. Oh, so that is an interesting one. Oops. And awesome. I'll spend the focus for three hits and a crit. If it wasn't for the camera, I would have said that's a point. Yeah. <laughs> so, my two. And, and then you get a third. My third. So you take one, two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. There, shield's gone. Good stuff. Uh, Fen Rao. Looks like range two. Uh, he's gonna be unobstructed. Yep. So three dice from Fen. Oh shit. Uh, that's not so good. One hit. One hit. Countered by. Oh, and I turned that down actually with uh, sensor jammer. Oh, sensor jammer into a focus. All set on the focus. You keep your focus. And I rolled that of eight anyway. So. I was gonna say, yeah, I'm wasting them now. He's wasting. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so six. My six. If he has this. Does he have art? No. No art. No, sir. Nope. Okay. Okay. So nothing from the six. Bring it down to my three, which likely has nothing here. 
Oh no, he does. Okay, so that two dice, my obsidian, and two Fenrir. Okay, I'm uh, gonna get three. Is it a, no, it is not obstructed. Not obstructed. Oh wait, your obsidian's where? Right here. It's way over here. Okay. Oh, it's. Four dice, because range four. Range three. You have to evade one hit. Oh, I don't know. Uh, auto thrusters for two. Okay. Okay. So then your Unkar. Has no shot because he's cloaked. That's right. So then all my ones. Yep. Oh, the one. Oh, did you measure with your four? No, I'm I not didn't. sure if you have a shot, but you might. No. No, so close though, so close. Okay. I'm glad I got you to measure, because you could have you could have uh, missed out on your shot there. So we got range a range two. Range two. Two dice out of Academy Pilot three. Comes up as You gonna spend that focus? Yeah, I'm not getting shot anymore. You're not getting shot, so So there's one. And uh, two of eights. Okay. And five it will be obstructed. Yeah. Five is obstructed at and range, range three. three. That's the best thing ever. And I'll spend it for two. Four. Two. Okay. Your four still has a shot, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, auto thrusters, and I'll spend the focus. Okay. Focus. Four. Yeah, it's just a range three, but unobstructed. Okay. He spent his focus. Spend the focus. Two. For two hits. And one evade, and I can't use the other, so I take one. No, auto thrust. Oh, yeah, that's right, range three. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you know what? I actually rolled one, two less uh, from this guy because it was obstructed, but it's fine because it, I didn't take anything in the end. All right. Give me one, one, two less. Ben just rocking it, rocking yeah. like donkey. So. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, let me just. Oh, I gotta put on card down. <laughs> okay, I'm all dialed in. I'm almost. I'm working on it. It's okay. It's okay. No rush, man. No rush. I'm really nervous about this right now. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Try this. Okay, ones. Ones. Yeah, let's see if they're pulling any of this off. Yeah. Too bad. Getting away from that rock, eh? Break away from that. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I'm, I'm okay with this. And ben this is one pretty here okay is going to attempt to just go straight at the rock. Yeah. 
Stopping just short of it. There. And the last one, same thing. Uh, but he's actually just going to take a barrel roll instead. Try to okay. see if he can fit right there. Gonna try and spread your arcs a little bit. Oh, oh, nope, nope, not onto that debris, sir. That was tight. I thought you were gonna pull that off. Try back a little bit. No. No. No, both little bits are just gonna get in your way there. Okay, so in that case. You're not gonna have trouble with him on the rock next turn anyway. No, no, but it's, uh, yeah, I, I would either focus or evade. Or probably focus because you're probably going to get some shots. Always in. focus. Sir. Okay, so that's my one. And my three. Who is de stressing? Thank you. Or a two back. Nice. And we'll add the focus as well. That takes up uh, all. Uh, that's your one to three. Ankar Plut is going to do a forward two. Going to Plut Plut his way up to the death rain here. Uh, my action. Uh, where did I put him? There we go. Is to uh, use the space dog tractor array. So is that bad boy work? Um, I so action, action. Oh, okay. choose a ship inside your firing arc at range one and assign a tractor beam token to it. If it is a friendly ship, resolve the effect of the tractor beam token as though it were an enemy ship. So what I'm going to do is throw you out over here, onto there, so receive a stress, sir. And then roll some dice, or roll a die. I stress, my one die. Woo, no damage. Very safe. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. There you go. Okay. So now so you are four. four. Uh, did I change that up enough for a straight three? I don't think I did. Nope. And bumpity bumps. No, nope, the four. That I was about... why you wanted to barrel roll. I see now. Well, yeah. I figured he would have gone through anyway. But, uh, yeah, I just push him on up there. I was going to have him. I had him at the five, thinking that might be too far, and he'd hit this guy. Yeah. Oh, f yeah, five so might have been okay. dropped it back. Yeah, I think the five and the four would have been okay. Yeah, the four would have been, like, right there. The five would have been right behind him, probably. Yeah. So he just hits, gets nothing. Stupid Wampa. And, and then right here. Oh, reveal a red. No, bank three. Nope. And we're going to put out... Bomblet out the front. Well, I can't, because it's a free barrel roll action. I can't do the action because of the scrolls. Oh, that's right. No barrel roll for you. Well, in that case, I guess we're just hoping we're close enough. There. And, uh, I'll hold that for you. No, I'm just killing myself. How many fingers does it take to move a tunnel, right? <laughs> there you go. No, I just thought of myself. But, and that wasn't a wet right maneuver. Or, or a wet, uh, yeah. So, so for you keep that everybody end. watching, we'll say this guy is a flipping idiot. Well, hey, you weren't expecting me to track you. No, but I didn't have to drop the bomb. You, you know what? It was still potential damage. It was potential damage in Nuncar. We didn't know how far it was getting, uh, far away it was Oh, no, I should have. You didn't think so? No, there was no way that's going to hit him. I, so, I just kind of like, I had it set in my mind that I'm going to drop, barrel roll, go. So then I'm like, I'm going to drop. Shit, I can't barrel roll. But I've already said I'm dropping, so. And Fen's going to do this. And shed his stress. Uh, and then he will boost. And push
push the limit for a focus. Hmm. Uh, and last but not least, Cap Nim doing a bank. Three. Just, you know, he just takes it easy, you know. Just really chilling out. Just chilling, hanging out at the back of the party. Did you not acquire a target lock earlier? Uh, I oh, spent it to do the rerolls. Yeah. Um, I will attempt to acquire a target lock. However, you are too close. You only acquire target locks at range 3 and beyond. So, what he will do is he will focus. Not a chance, but it's definitely hitting me. Yeah, so Idiot. under the activation, it goes off. Ah, you get a blanks. It's blanks. Oh, no, almost one blanks. Hit. One hit. <laughs> there. Now you cannot take full credit. No, nope. you're like, I helped kill myself, damn it. Nobody kills me like I can kill me. <laughs> not if I could kill me first, he says. All right, so um, start a combat. Pilot skill 10 from Nim. Uh, range 2 into the uh, into death rain. Three dice primary in my, from my... I also always forget that that's an action that he's doing. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just move over and I'm still uh, going to be good. Nice. I'm going to spend the focus for three hits. Okay, well, I'm going to roll... Oh, wait, no, I don't get to roll anything. You don't get to roll anything because it's range two, so you get no range die. And I'm just, down one. And you're down of, one, so... So that's what automatically... However, that lightweight frame, I think, kicks in, doesn't it? Because nope. you're... Oh, you have to roll dice, After don't you? rolling dice. After you roll your defense After dice, you rolling roll defense... Oh, if you have no defense dice to roll, you, you get nothing. You roll anything. So wow, that's, that's powerful. How, that's how it's been. Okay, so three hits into the... Uh, but I can still sense a gem one. Oh, you can. Oh, wait, that would have been during this. Because I spent my focus to turn them up. So oh, you get so to modify first, and then I spend the focus. So it's still three. all three. It's still all three. One, two. Oh, this is probably How many the worst. hit points has he got left? Two. Really? He's oh, going God. down quick. Fen, range one. In my arc. Oh, my God, is that? Oh, it is just it's barely. It. Just, just barely, though. So Which I five still dice. Have no dice, so I'm dead. I get no rerolls, uh, but I don't need them because Fen is a beast. Uh, spend the focus for four hits and a crit. Well, he's gonna take all the cards. Here. What? Two, this ain't over though. Your tie swarm three, is still not uh, not friendly. Four. That is not a friendly tie swarm. Finishes with. He was shaken to death. <laughs> shaken. <laughs> shaken baby. Yep. Totally. Death now, by shaken well, baby syndrome. I, mean, I felt that this whole list kind of is like, these guys are just here to kind of be in the way. They haven't even had a chance to get in the way yet, and now they're just facing it all down. Yep. But uh, we'll see. So that's your two, my uh, three. No shot. So your three, threes and everything Everything. Else. Everything. Yeah, your okay. four, your three, your everything. Because no. Ongar just doesn't shoot until he deflects. So we'll start with the four, who has a range... Two on him. Yeah, that's yep. a two. Okay. So you're going to roll... Flat roll so just two, two dice. Flat roll two. Yeah. Flat roll two dice. Into the bin, if you would, sir. All right. Woo! Two hits. That's a lucky bin, apparently. Okay. And Nim gets a focus and takes two. Okay. Let's see. Five, five. Jesus. I know. I know. He's a beast. Show. He's a beast. That's why he's only got one health. Or one uh, defense class, I should say. My three has a... That is range well, three. three obstructed. Range three obstructed. So I get three versus your two. I got flat rolls and, and you got spend two the focus. Nim gets uh, oh Abated flat rolls jump. three. That's amazing. Natties, natties. So that one has nothing. So I'm just gonna remove his focus token now. Yep. And this one here. You got range one on Unkar. Unkar has four dice because he's cloaked. But it's only four dice, no, nothing else. He's got range, range one. one. Get off there. So we'll three. do three dice at Nim. Yep. Yeah, you got that focus. Strip those shields. And I'll spend so that. Three hits. There you go. Nim gets one evade. That's two. There. And the last one, it's going to go after him. Uh, yeah, it's not evaded. There, so it's just two dice out of Academy Pilot 4. 
One hit. And that was Nim on Nim. Yeah, that on Nim. And uh, one hit. Sweet. Shields down. Okay. It's not half points. No, because he's Despite the base. actual size of that ship. He's okay. 10 hit points. That's so good. For a small ship, that's awesome. Right? It's fantastic. Okay, let's see. Can a TIE Swarm pull this off? Uh, I can tap it and sack it to give a piece of shit. Oh, quad jumper, you so fun, you so fun, you blow my mind. with this list because uh, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing with Ben Rao enough most of the time. I just ha I, I got really lucky this game. Yeah, that was just... Uh, that was just like pure unadulterated luck in my opinion. You're dialed in? Well, nope, not yet. Oh, you got a couple left. You got a couple go left. Here. Uh, obsidian number three. Uh, when the run of no, you pulled that off perfectly, though, for they just come in and assassinate the ship that this list is really built on. Right? I knew I had to go for him first. I knew it. But <laughs> your, the, your list was really good for doing that, though, I think. Yes. To, yes. like, just get in there, get close, half him up before he's all set. Yeah. Like, it's that high speed that you came in with. Because everybody's trying to do it, where I spread them all out, and, I was like, and we'll kind of regroup. I mean, I put it down differently. Yeah. But it's yeah, you were like, starting yeah, going that way, and I was a little confused with that. So, um, you're once. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Okay. Well, we'll start right here. Oh, yeah, I got that dude there. I forgot. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Speed two. Oh. And that is in the focus. Okay. And right here, speed one, turn. No asteroid. So, there are. Uh, focus. So how many super rares were pulled? Here. He's gonna bump. So that means there's at least four more. And that's roughly. It will allow people in order of first to last. Clunkety clunks. There they go. Yeah. Right there with no action. Um, there should be two of each. So that's all of them, and my three. Yep. Who is going to take one. And focus. Okay. Okay, three. Um, I got Uncar Plot, who's going to do a reverse one. Um, pattern Analyzer lets me take my action before I receive stress. So I will hit him with a token. And I will... I don't know if I can barrel roll. Well, I mean, this would keep it as one of those, like, when you're barrel rolling and you say, I'm going to barrel you to this side, you're stuck going to that side if you can, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah once I commit, it's done. You lay the template and you can fit it, it's done. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. 
Uh, okay. That was my three. Four. Is there a rule or th- uh, from fantasy? If you say, I'm going to barrel roll, but you haven't put anything on the table, is that considered committed yet? No. Not if you say, I'm going to barrel roll, and you, pi- and you pick it up, you can... Pro- most play- most uh, uh, TOs will be like, no, it's fine. If you put it down on the table... Once you've measured something, you've now yeah, taken you've now the measured, table information. You now have more information about the play, uh, play area? Yeah. Yeah. Nope, you're done. Okay. So that's your three. Yep. They rolled me my four. Yep. There's also Wampa. He's just going to try... Get up there and bump. To bump. That's what he's going to do. I'm just going to double check what I did with Nim to make sure I'm thinking right here. So I'm there. Okay, well, uh, bad job. Okay, um, Fenral is going to do a turn two. He sheds his stress. Uh, and then he's going to boost. And uh, barrel roll out of here. There we go. Hopefully that gets him an obstructed shot, or uh, gets an obstructed shot on him, I should say. I think I'm far enough away from the others. Okay, so that's Ben Rao. Uh, push the limit gave him the stress. I'm sorry. Nim, gonna reveal his dial. He's gonna execute a bank three. Up there. I'm gonna drop my bomb with genius. Genius lets me drop my bomb yeah. afterwards. Oh, yeah, that one. It came remember. with most wanted, and everybody's like, when the fuck are you ever going to use genius? Hello? Now. That's Just when. Waiting. Yeah. <laughs> There's my bomblet. And what his thing is what? He ignores friendly bombs. Ignores friendly bombs. So, even though that's range one to me, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He just doesn't care at all. I think that's range one oh, to Unkar yeah. as well, but Unkar's fresh. He's fine. Um, and his action will be to focus. All right. So, uh, so start go off. end of activation. This goes off. These three guys are all in range. And Unkar is certainly in range. So I'm going to roll. Oh, wait. It was there. Fen, are you too far? Yes, oh, I'm yeah. too far. Okay. Wait. I wasn't sure at first. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll roll all mine here first. Sure. Number five. Five. One hit. One hit on number five. Number, number four. four. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Number two. Number two. Which is Wampa. Here. Yeah. Oh, come on, Wampa. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good for Wampa. Hit. I don't think he's going to be uh, cancelling any crits again this game. He's shaking. Okay, so no, no straight, straight maneuver. Reveal the maneuver. Oh, that's fine. You're not going straight next turn anyway. Uh, and then for Unkar. Uh, ooh, two hits on Unkar. Okay. Sometimes you just got to play those odds, right? So Unkar, two hits. He's still got three hit points left. He's all right. Okay, uh, start of combat. Uh, Nim is going to auto blaster into... Uh, Wampa. There's a guarantee. And accuracy corrector, two hits. Okay, well, I will roll my three. You don't get to... Well, you can, but you can't be canceled. They can't be canceled by uh, uh, evade results. No? Accuracy corrector, auto blaster is two uncancelable uh, hits. Oh, okay then. So, Wampa's dead. Wampa's dead. That was, the guy, that was the other guy I was really worried about. Okay, so there's Wampa. That's my attack at eight. I got no. I don't think I have an attack at nine. There's no. No arc. No arc. No. Nope. Uh, and then Four. my three, three will go yep. before yours though. So we have a range two on two them. on them. Two dice. I'll spend the focus. Two hits. You got it. And Nim takes two. One, two. 
Okay, maybe there's a chance. Oh yeah, it ain't over. Nim, so Nim can't three, evade any of his Your three has no shot. My three has no shot. So then, your ones, into your ones. My ones, so that's a range two. Yep. So two dice from Academy Pilot three. Yep. Two hits. Got two hits. Okay. Unkar gets four dice because he's cloaked. And, oh my god, now he's... <laughs> Shit, this never happens. Never, ever happens. Okay, so the other guy here. Okay, there, yep. He's just going to throw two as well. Uh, range two, yep. And you got nothing. Nothing, okay. Just just for shiggles. That's enough. Ah. Uh, this guy, no shot. I'm going to just sit there on Fantasy Flight's forums all day tomorrow <laughs> saying you Fucking need to... Fucking No, no, no. Unkar. Nope. You Unkar. need to errata that. That really? You don't have a cloaking device. You oh, can't stay close. Visago, you mean? Yeah. That. Visago. We're, we've been waiting on an, F, on an FAQ to clear up a lot of things since June. So hopefully sometime in October, maybe. I'm just going to sit there and flood it. I'm going to start like 10, <laughs> 10, 20 different accounts and just. If you you don't, won't be the only one. You know, trying to get Java? No. Java sticks. He's just an extra munitions for illicits. And. Uh, yeah, no, you're like, no, no, Java's cool. It's fine. <laughs> but it's like a physical device. You have discarded. You know, I get you thematically trying to put it as, no, I just unplugged it. Well, no, then you theoretically still have it. See, the, the theory behind it is that in the show, Visago is like, he can procure anything for you. That's his job. That's what he does. He just, he's got all of the shit that everybody wants. Yeah, so I get the theme with him. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's kind of tough. <laughs> like, oh, uh, but in the game, you've discarded it. I hear you. you know, just, I, hear I guess it's that wording. Cause, yeah, I guess you're saying, like, no, look, I've actually packed this too, and nobody knew that he had also packed yeah. such and such a thing. Yeah. In which case, if you're not throwing one out, do you not just have both? Does he not just give you an extra spot, then, really? If the theme is that he's just unplugged your track. Of you. In which case, it's funny. This was actually one of the combos that they. Between. Yeah, this one of the combos they wrote an article about in uh, the release. Actually of this. saying, "Hey, look, you can do this and stay cloaked and stay cloaked until." I choose to decloak, and I can never recloak. Because yeah, the cloak. So, it, but that's the thing. It's a trade-off. This guy doesn't get to throw, throw any attack dice. So I only got two attackers with this list. I have to be really aggressive. Which you don't seem to have a problem doing yet. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, nope, I can't do it. A space tech tractor array that works at range one. It's only, only at range one and only in my arc. Range one. Well, the thing that I was thinking about doing is there's a guy that does custom bases. It's like almost a bachelor at some point. Maybe he wants to come right there and find a model to put on it. Just because, you know, I'm going to play with something. Yeah, the birds. This looks very fun. I'm I'm tempted, honestly, to swap out the pattern analyzer with the um, prime thrusters to be able to barrel roll when I uh, when I do crazy stuff. But I really think the pattern analyzer is a better idea because it stops me from, um, or keeps me well, you can do, you doing any of my backwards. Yeah. So I can tug backwards and either black my slicer tool or space tug tractor array or get my focus or barrel roll. It really opens up everything. And what's the slicer tool is that actually? Um, choose a stress ship in any ship at range 1 to 2, roll an attack die on a hit or a crit result, remove the stress token, and deal a face down damage. Curve. So basically I hack into your ship and cause some damage. But we lose our stress. But you, but I take away your stress. Curve. See that thematically makes no sense. Oh shit, we're going to hack this more stress. Okay, if we're ready, I'll start. Good. I'm actually up here at uh, one. Can I? 
Sorry? No. Yeah. You bought, well, I bought. Uh, I had to. Anyway, I can tell you that. This one taking a four. There, with stress. And that guy on a straight Ooh, five. Straight five. Here, I'll template him out of the way for you. No, it's just easy. I'm surprised, motherfucker, he has a bomb. What? <laughs> I thought only Rebel Tie Fighters could take bombs. Can they really? Put Sabine's masterpiece, Sabine, you can carry one bomb. It makes an expensive Tie Fighter. Like, it's like class skill 3 and 22 points. But. Still. Sometimes worth it. Sometimes I'm worth it. My three silver. Your three. To see you get a hard one. What are they doing with him? Uh, not what I thought. I have Oh, I forgot to decloak. Oh, I was going to decloak. Oh, I made a mistake. Trying to that side again. Nope, still not happening. So, a focus door. Okay. Uh, I'll reveal Unkar Plot, who's going to do a turn one. Okay. I was originally going to um, decloak out and then turn one, but uh, ended up, it didn't matter. Instead, you were there with stress. Instead, I'm there with a stress, so there's no action. I made a mistake, and Unkar's going to take a lot of beats in the face for that. Hopefully. Um, Fen Rao is going to do a forward three. Yep. You're like, oh, shiz, what's going on here? What's going on here, sir? Going to barrel roll. And push the limit to take a focus. I don't think either of us are shooting each other. I don't think. I think you're right. I think that we're both out. No, we can't check yet. Yeah, there's definitely not a. I can't. I, can't. I don't think you're shooting. Me. And then Nim is gonna try to do a talent roll three. Yeah, I know. He's got the craziest fucking dial. You know, it's like, I've, I've, especially with trading away almost all of my Rebel and Scum, few Scum things I ever did pick up, it's like, yeah. it is definitely too late. To start investing in Scum again? To, yeah, like, oh, that seems cool, but I'm one. Of, I'm also like, you know, without being like, I've never watched Rebels, I've never watched Clone Wars. I've been reading some of the books, I actually just finished Bloodlines. I heard it's really good. It's yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting how the books go. They kind of explore different different topics and areas that no one stuff that you can't explore. No, in no, movies, well, right? no one's gonna go watch a movie about how the Senate is ineffective because <laughs> that's really all it's about, right? The Senate's ineffective and a bunch of politics and throw in I think. So, the yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's there was stress. two two chapters that involved any laser shooting, the spaceship flying. It's really all about politics. Leia's investigation into. I can get behind that. Stuff. I can always get behind yeah, that. And it, like, it, it just shows it in a way that you're like, your duck goes over and like, oh, you can compare this to modern day politics, you know, yep. for the kids, or kids or something. So, okay, so I'm gonna get shot here. Yep. Start a combat. Nim is gonna auto blast your accuracy corrector into uh, Obsidian there and make that two hits that you can't evade. Two hits I cannot evade onto that one. Okay, that is that is dastardly. I know, right? But I'm range one with only three hit points left and you roll three attack die. So, uh, no shot. No shot. No shot. No shot. All your ones, three and one, threes and ones go. Okay, well I'm going to roll three dice straight ahead. Yep, right into Nim. Oh my god! Wow. All wow. blanks. Can I, even, blanks. can I even do that again? No, that that's, would have been a that, That's rough. a good rat. Yeah, that's, nice. that's terrible. Wow, okay. Um, This guy so he's has got a, shot. a shot. He's got a shot. Yep. So first I'll do the three dice from number three. Okay. Into Unkar Plot. Okay. 
Here's my. Star's gonna bite it. Three oh. with the focus makes it two it's and a crit. Oh, Alan Carter's gonna bite it so hard here. I get oh that's two! And so I take a crit. Just a crit. Damage cockpit, he's now a zero. That's the best thing that could have ever happened to him. Okay. okay. Well, this one here from the back Into is going car? to be doing that. Range two, three. Range three. Oh, nice. Five dice even. Flat rolls two. Nice. Yeah, where was that on the obsidian? <laughs> I promoted him for a And uh, one. I take one. Ankar's got one hit point left. Woo go, Plot, go! Go, go, go! Okay, okay. That blobfish. Rocking it, man. Rocking it like talking. So we are on dials. I'll clear out these focuses. Yeah, I'll clear that. Nice. All right. Woo-hoo! Oh, some, man. Some luck has really come into your... Yeah, it's some serious luck, man. There. Like... I know, and you're like, is that gonna? Yeah, damn it. Could be worth it. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay, ones. Number one, he's taking a 3K if you can you. get that for me. I know, it's hard to reach across the table sometimes. There you go, sir. Stress him up. That's out. A stress. Another number one is going on a three straight. We got that right here for you. And we'll add. And clear your stress. There you go. Focus. No stress. And my three is going to take a 4K. Bumpy bumps. Oh no, he's. Oh, I'm looking at it the wrong way. Huh? Yeah, there. Nice. I was going to say, do you want me to template? But now you got it. You got it, bro. He's through there. You got it, bro. There. Add his stress. Actually, Ankar should have gone first. He's a zero. Oh, yeah! Well, it's not going to matter. Is that going to affect anything? Because he's going to do a bank, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to template your TIE fighter here. Make it a little easier. Oh, oh my god. We should not have skipped that on top. There we go. He's going to move there. Shed his stress. And we'll... Barrel roll, sir. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure you're close to close through that rock now, or through that debris now. So. Really trying to buy him some life. Oh, right? any any time I can keep him on the table, that's three points, man. And we got a three bank over here. I'm gonna put that crit token next to him so I remember next time. Into there with. I'm a actually using a crit token. Oh my god. Focus. I had to Nobody use one in the last game. Tokens? I just had to remember. I always forget that stuff. So. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, Fen Rao's gonna do a turn three. Oh shit, I forgot he had stress. Oh, uh, Fen Rao is stressed. It's Fen Rao has a problem. Oh, that's what, that's a middle name, Fen Problem Rao. <laughs> 
Okay, and then Nim is gonna drop a bomb. Try to finish off Obsidian. And then do a bank two. Uh, directly into your TIE Fighter. Okay. Uh, that sheds my stress, but I get no action because bombs! Okay, so just me. Yep. Rolling. Two dice for the obsidian. Oh, come on! Yes! Double hits. Okay. There's been uh, just an obscene amount of luck. <laughs> It's onto, terrible. Uh, it's terrible. I've had honestly terrible dice luck where I've had like four rounds in a row, no bomb damage. I've been like, oh, what's well, going on? That's got to end sometime, and it seems to have right. ended. So, me. start of combat. Nothing. Well, I'm not stressed. Uh, Nim is going to take his shot into Academy number five here. Three dice primary. At range two. Yeah, range two. It's just a flat roll. Uh, one hit. Evaded. Yep. Fen's got no shot. No shot. Um, no shot. Maybe range three on Fen, and maybe a range three here. We are going to take uh, range two. Uh, close to the closest is through that raw debris, if I'm oh, not yeah. mistaken. So, yep. No All right. Dice. Awesome. So here comes. Awesome. Best thing ever for him. Two dice. And I'll spend my focus for two hits. Okay. Come on, Slut. Come on, Blockfish. Kill. Two of eight. Oh, man. Okay, Huge well. Huge pools of dice, man. Huge pools of dice. And they range three. Range three. Through. Obstructed. I need to borrow one of your dice, sir. All right. One hit. Okay. That's it. That's all you need if I blank. No. One, two, three, four. Okay. There you go. Okay, so sweet oh, tokens. That was you, sir. Buttering now. Let's see, we got the academies. The academies have survived the longest. They have. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing great, man. Those academies are rocking it. Killing it right now. It's the first time. They've always been the first ones to go. I get rid of all these He's animals. the first dude right now, isn't he? He is. Or not Nim, sorry. Ankar, I should say, is the first dude right now. Yeah, the strategy's always been most people see uh, get rid of all those things first because this guy you don't want to get near. So everyone goes after yeah. all the other ones. Well, he even if he doesn't get the damage in, it's well, you're focusing on ties and they're still peppering everyone's getting. Yeah, like, yeah, basically what's happening right now. But this guy was the other match, full health. Yeah. And but you've and taken you out everything, her. but you have one hit, three hit points. I'm I'm pretty hurt, but it's I'm still shaped. alive. And you've gotten rid of the the, most the big beast bugbear on your side. Yeah. 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 So it's going. Okay. The other way. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So Ungar Plot, we're gonna remember this time, is gonna do a straight three, and just get the hell out of dodge. Leaving Geonosis, yo. Leaving Geonosis. Uh, and he's gonna barrel roll to get the hell away. Okay. Once. Oh, we'll start with this one. It's gonna take a 4k. I gotta say, I'm feeling a lot better about potentially facing Paul uh, tomorrow uh, with this list. Um, maybe he won't table me. So I'm out here. Stress. I okay. still have no idea what uh, anybody's actually flying for most of the league, so <laughs> this will be interesting. So this is where you get to come out, this is game one, and if you don't like your list, you can change it. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's why um, I'm going with this one, which I think has some teeth. 
uh, and, and it's, I think it's got a good strategy. Uh, but I've got another list that is pure weirdness shenanigans, and I'm really looking forward to throwing that down sometime soon. If this list gets absolutely beat to shit by uh, Paul, I'm going to change up. And I'll just do something completely different. Throw a focus in, and that's it. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, Sven Rao is going to do a bank two. And head on up over here. Boop. Uh, sheds a stress. He will boost. And uh, push the limit for a focus. Nim is going to reveal and drop a bomb. Try and hurt that dude. Just never enough to get away. No, the bombs are so brutal. Uh, and then execute a forward one. Yeah, it's always just one of those things where, like, if you want the shot, you're going gonna to have focus. to stay near that bomblet a lot of the time. Right, right. I've had people just forget I got the bomblet. They K-turn and they're like, right on, right in behind you. I'm like, that's nice. Whop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, end of activation. Bomb goes off. You're the only one in range. Yeah, I think so. Hit it up. Another hit. All right. I'll take what I can get. On number three, he's, he's still vanilla, so he's fine. There we go. Okay, so uh, Nim is going to take his range one. Oh, wait, nope. This guy has Number five. five. Has. He has one. Oh, sweet. One hit on him already. Uh, auto blaster, and I accuracy correct that into two hits. Darn. Bye. One. <laughs> That's late. That is so brutal. That trap right there. Of, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Because even if you roll... The crits that could be cancelled, you just say. Fuck the out. best thing to do is to get range two somewhere out arc on him and just focus all your fire on him and he goes woof. He just goes up like a freaking uh, a funeral pyre. Yeah, he's still a 5-5. Five, five, he's still a 5-5. Five, five. I've, I've killed one of these ships in a single attack round. You had to f I had to focus all my fire and I got all hits. But I could do it. Well, we're going to do that focusing on so now after Fen does Fen Rao, uh, yeah, into uh, number four, who's got full health. That's right. Range two. Range two. Just three dice. Three. I got three to save. Uh, one hit on Fen from Fen. And that focus? Yes. Okay. Oh, really? Number four is fresh, though. Oh, uh, fresh. I still got my focus there. All right, you're dudes. Okay, well. I'm gonna try and finish off Nim? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go He's the that. most points. Gotta kill something, right? So. So, here's two dice from number three. Yep. Heading to crit. Guaranteed hit. Uh, I get an evade, so that's a crit on Nim, which is console fire. I start taking damage every turn unless I flip it down. Okay, and then another two. Or potential damage every turn. Range two range again. Two. Sweet. This could be enough. Two hits. Double and hits. Nim gets a blank. Two hits, and he's dead. Yes, something. One, two. I got something. Nim, boom. Oh, whoops. <laughs> With some absolutely incredible flying, this could be pulled off. It, oh yeah, it, it ain't over. It ain't over, man. This would be one of those like, uh, like oh, this is gonna might still work. No, I'm gonna lose. Oh, it okay. could come back. Sweep that. Yeah. To oh. Be, in the end, a good match. It's happened. It's happened before. <laughs> I think it was right after um, what's it? Uh, Countess Riyadh came out. And all that, uh, all that stuff with the whole like go speed threes and all that. Yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah, I lost everything else, and then like, Riyadh was like, "Let me Riyadh. solo the rest of that list for you." <laughs> just destroyed everything right after, and it was, and it did that on moves from like here to here to here over oh, yeah. like two rounds, just like jumps across the table and destroyed everything. She's like, amateurs, let me show you how this is done. <laughs> Yeah, she made one mistake, took a shot. She's like, "Never again! I make, I will never again slow down." Just never hard. slow down. Okay. 
Fen got the whole deal there, eh? Got the whole thing. So yeah. I don't want to be in your arc. You don't want to be in my arc. You want to be at range two because if you're at range one, I get extra defense dice as well. About ten minutes left. I'll try this. So, okay. Mr. Uh, Plot. Ankar Plot is going to do a reverse bank. And we'll. Can I? <laughs> and then you get the stress. Then I get the stress. That pattern analyzer is OP. Yeah. So good. That's good. Love it on tie FOs. Yeah. Because you do your hard three, your hard turn, and take your action, and then receive your stress. It's a it's a tap though, isn't it? It is a tap yeah. slot. That's why. I, uh, no, you, that's right. Sorry, it needs to go on uh, SFs. Works on great. FO oh no, it worked on FO as well. Yeah. yeah. No, Works. I was just thinking like because like death rate. Ah, oh, it's not a system. Red twos. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll start here. Take a. It should be. Yeah. Key turn for you. Right there in your hand. Yeah. Ha! I was using it to move the other things. <laughs> Right there. Stressed out. Then, straight three. Stress free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With a focus. Okay. Uh, I'm regretting my maneuver with Fen. He's gonna do a turn two. What I should I should have done a turn two towards you, like this. Yeah, why? Got right in and killed you. Well, because well, uh, right I thought maybe I'd position myself for next turn, but uh, and we'll boost. Trying to make sure no shots happen at all, right? Not on him. I don't really want Fen to get shot at either, but he's getting oh, boosted. Wait. What am I doing here? That's the, yeah, because I can boost Sloop. Okay. I haven't heard that song. It's my little boost Sloop. A little boost to Sloop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well then. He's definitely got no shots. hunkar has got no shots, no shots he's still there. cloaked up. All cloaked. Well, we have a range three, range three. obstruction. Obstructed. Six dice again. Okay, here's... Can you evade one hit? I hope I, so, God. Go, that'll be incredible. That would be awesome, right? One! One oh. evade! Oh, my God. Ankar, buddy, you wow. you are the best. I love you forever, man. I love you forever. And <laughs> nope, nothing out of that guy. So, I will just clear that. And... <laughs> Sloop, I got a talent hole. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, Sloop, that's my bad. Uh, there we go, and Unkar. Such a shitty dial on this ship. Oh, let's see. No. 
I wish he had a stop, to be honest. No, I can't do that either. That'll get him killed. What am I doing? All right, let's let's try that. All right, Mr. Plot, Mr. zero the hero. They call you Mr. Plot. He's gonna do a turn two and just get out. Just not into playing. He's like, Plutty, don't play that. All right, you're once. Okay, start here. Trust free. Speed two. Um, which... Oh, just short. That's beautiful. Which then, of course, that's some to... discipline. That was also, well, some very steady hands because that could have easily, if I had nudged that at all, it's like, oh, yeah. It. Oh, now I'd hit it. Yeah. So that was some very steady hands. Okay, and your other one. The other one is on a straight three. And we'll take a. Oh, uh, we'll also barrel roll. Oh, plot. Oh, plot. Oh, plot, plot. Oh, you're so dead, buddy. We got it. We got cooked blobfish on order. Well, it's range threes, so he's still on that five dice. Can I poach that blobfish up? Yeah, he's got that pool, a huge pool of dice, so there is that. He's got that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to do a talent roll two with Fen Rao. So first thing I'm going to do is template him. And then do that. Uh, that. Fen is going to hope to save Ankar here. Uh, hoping to. Hoping to. Fen received a stress for doing his talent roll. Okay. Okay. Fen roll. I got no more bombs to go on. Range three on your academy number four. Who's all vanilla? Hold on. But I also got a range three on him, and he's taking damage. So I'm gonna shoot at him. Yes, oh, flat on. rolls three. Ben, wow. you're the best guy ever. And two. Avoid That's an two not so enough. So you one take on one. Three. Ah, not enough. Not enough. Now, do we shoot back at Fenro, who would have four dice and nothing to do, right? No. Fenro, four yeah, dice. range three, four dice with auto thrusters, flat roll, though. Oh, uh, yeah, auto thrusters. It's guaranteed the one against my only two. Not guaranteed. If I roll all focuses, it's like, oh, you just shot me. Gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do historically this, no. That's this one is gonna go number three against Ankar. Okay, so five. I got five. You got two. Oh! A hit and a crit. He heard the call. Ah! Oh, and Ankar did not hit Good. and a crit. Good. It's happened now. Hit and a crit. Direct hit. A huge explosion as the oh. extra fuel tanks go off. Okay. Yep. Now, Woo, those big engines apparently make a very big boom. Yeah, you already said those range three. Range three. Okay, here it comes. Two dice. Yeah, I got four with auto thrusters. Well, we got oh, double hits. Oh, solid two hits. And Here's auto three. thrusters for three. Okay. Okay, Finn, you got. Uh, it's going to be coming up on last turn pretty much, I think. For the video. No, overall. Oh, no. This needs You're like, to... no, it needs to finish. This right. is a good match. So there you go, folks. It needs to go to the end. You've heard it here. We're going to go this all the not, way. This is to not a end. tournament. This, this needs to be seen. Taking him out. Because we have the exact same amount of hit points available right now. <laughs> both of four hit points. Oh, my God. I, I'm 34 points on Fen, though. So. And I have. Theori well, you get into the range one. I have one, only one more attack dice that I can even throw. I know, I know. That's the range ones, and I'm not dead. But. I got just got it. 
I just gotta go whole hog. At this point, Fen has no options but to just go hard. He's yeah, he's just gotta really pull this off. I gotta be super aggressive and get maximize my dice. Okay. Here we go. This one here, speed two. And, and focus. I'm sure. No, we're actually going to put the evade down this time. What? And right here, speed two. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look how fucking close that is. Okay. You son of a bitch. And we'll... He'll take focus. They'll, they'll both do different things. Should have done something different with Fen. Who is? I'm gonna do a forward two. A forward two. Oh, is it gonna be a bump? Is it gonna be a bump? No. Is it gonna be a bump? No, you're clear. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do. You're clear. You're totally yeah. clear. Oh shit! Yes. Fen will focus. Push the limit to. No, I'm not gonna fit there. So no, 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 no PTL, no PTL. Wait. Yes, PTL. Target for target lock, just to be sure. Okay, so that's on number three, who has one hit point left. Yep. So definitely got the uh, options. Five dice with the reroll and the focus is probably going down. Uh, so there's uh, two hits and a crit. I'm going to re-roll those with the target lock. One of those was a focus, wasn't it? Oh, you're right, it was. There we go, four, four hits and a crit. So you spent your focus. I did spend my focus. Okay. Well, watch this. <laughs> Three dice. For the camera can see it. Let's just yeah. see if I can get five. Five of eights. With three dice, can you get five of eights? And no, you can't. But you can get three. <laughs> there you go. And so you take uh, a hit and a crit. Just a hit and a crit. So that one is dead. Okay, this guy will definitely wish that he had taken focus. I bet. Watch and this. So, three focus. Yeah. That's why I was surprised. I don't know why I predicted wrong that's where you go it's kind of one of those like after you play a few hours your brain's going you just kind of go Burr. well a focus would have been great so it's one hit one hit yeah but I can evade and Fen's going to get four because of his ability you're at range one he gets an extra die both attack it, and defense isn't that only when you, oh that's just Fen's natural that's Fen's natural do I have a die in range one? Oh shoot just one additional die and one evade woo Okay, well, we'll see, we'll see. You're kind of just so, in a super tie fight. We're technically on last turn, but you really want to push this. Oh, this needs you? to go. <laughs> I, I have full health. you got full health. You have one more uh, laser than me. Yeah. Okay, but I have to yeah, I mean, it, it ain't over, but it's mostly over. So then, as far as for an official game, if there's a tournament of points. Official game, it would have ended on that turn. And you would have gotten. You would have won because you still have fan. Fifty, oh wait, forty-two, and another twenty-two. You would have gotten sixty-four points. Okay, so official tournament rules, you've won. Yes. Yes. Okay, but this isn't a tournament. So. There. Uh, ready. Ready. Ben Rao is such pure shenanigans. I love him so much. There we go. You know what would be a great duel? Him and uh, Fell in a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. It would be awesome. Okay, your go. Okay, Ben Rao is going to do a forward two. Clear his stress. And then a buttload of actions. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna boost. I can't boost that way. And that's up. Okay. Sweep and set. Okay. 
Ready? Ready. Okay, I'm not clearing the stress. I'm giving myself mm -hmm. maneuvered around. <laughs> We're here. both positioning this turn again. <clears throat> Right there. Okay, Fenrau's gonna do K turn four if you'd be so kind, sir. I would be. Except it's off the board. Oh no! That's what you get for letting me maneuver your piece. It's not a K turn six? What's going on here? And there is my stress. Your stress. All right. Oh! I'm gonna PS kill you. I'm so sorry. No way. I'm totally gonna roll blinds. <laughs> hey, I could. I really could. I'm not. Be outside the realm and of possibility set. in any way. I'm set. Go for it. Okay. I'm doing a straight three. <laughs> we're playing chicken. Playing chicken, Morty. They're playing chicken. And I have a focus. Okay. Uh, Fenrau's going to do a forward three as well, which is too damn fast, I think. I shed my stress. My action will be, uh, sorry, to try to barrel roll. I cannot barrel roll in there. So I will boost. Okay. Okay, so you weren't ready, so you just ran away. I went too fast. I should have done it too. Yeah. And then we'd have had uh, some jousting there, but is that, is that maneuvers? And it would have been gloriously three brutal. Three hits. Yeah. For me, if I were going to be alive. If you were alive. Dial. Dial. Boom. One. Hmm? There, I'll take an evade token the this time. All right, good call. Cause K turn four. Did a K turn four, Morty. And K turn Rick. Love a love a dub dub. <laughs> and stress. Fen Rao just loves the stress, man. Okay, here comes three dice from you. You betcha. Just flat roll. Uh, oh, oh shit. two crits and a hit. To which From I Fen have Rao. four dice. Yes, and, and your evade. So you could come out with nothing. Well, with absolutely yeah. nothing on you. Got evaded. Got oh, evaded. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. Okay. Same thing. Turn one. This is it. This will be, I think this will finally be last round. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see about that. Well, either you're going to get some shots in me, and I'll be like, ow, that hurt. But or I can't, I, I don't have I'm the firepower to kill you. Nope. I do. Again, I'm going to do forward two. This is the full range one in arcs that Fenrell wants. Oh yeah, that he loves, loves, loves. And so I'll focus and then push the limit for the target, the target, lock. target lock. Okay, so five dice coming at so you. So it's three, range one makes it four, and then he adds one because of the range one. Uh, so I get three, plus one for range one, plus one for my ability. One for his natural. If ability. I had fearlessness, that would be even one, one more as well. Oh yeah, fearlessness. That's yeah. That's what that's what most yeah, people put on. Or a lot of people. Uh, I'll spend the target lock on the blank. So that is uh, hitting the crit and two focuses so far. And there's the hit and spend the focus for four hits and a crit. Okay. Here we go. You need three, you need at least two of eights. Yeah. I got one. And that makes it two. And so then you then take, take the other three. And that's good game, we'll sir. Play. Damn, thank you. Woo! Any any win is a win. Take them while you can, right? Take them while you can. 
You got the tournament time and the legit. Yep. Play it to the gritty end. Right? Oh man, thank you so much for that. Thank game. you. That was a great game. Um, I can't believe I got so many good hits in on your um, Punisher early. Yeah, that was just like that. Ugh. It, it definitely put the like tilted it in my favor. I just couldn't focus hard enough on your Tie Fighters afterwards. And your academies did a shitload of work. Well, it did, they did a great job. That's one of those like that. That definitely is something like this list works for yeah. sure. I mean, there's nothing fancy to it, so you don't actually. It's not like oh, surprise, surprise! It's a buttload of ships that always works. <laughs> but when it's built around something kind of that like big, that, yeah. it's like okay, well, at least I know the rest of them can still they can still survive without it. I think if you if you hadn't started out coming this way, yeah, that would have been if very I had done different. My normal what I've always done was of just like randomly scattered them on the board and then converge right yeah. yeah and then it's like oh you went all over there really slow really fast yeah exactly and that's exactly. always worked. that would have been different because then we'd have come at each other in the joust you would have gotten a lot more shots a lot in more shots before I got a chance to kill him because you killed him without having yeah. like any and, shots and out. honestly you could have melted Nim in a single attack round hmm. with the number of shots you had there he only hits one defense dice, right? Yeah. So he's not a guy that wants to take a lot of shots over an extended period of time. I put him out there, and anytime you're shooting a Nim, I'm happy about that early in the game. Towards mid game, I don't want him getting shot at. And, and that's my trade for trick. That's that was great, right? He, he was a little workhorse. He didn't do any hurt in the well, whole game. But like now, like with him there, it's kind of like okay. Just stay right away from him. Yeah. Just don't be near him. Right. right. It's not going to be hard. He's not fast. At that point, he almost becomes like a, a, a point sink because he just runs away with 20 points. Like, oh, come shoot at me with yeah. my five dice. Yeah, like he's just kind of left. It, like, I'm not going to go shoot it. I'm going to get rid of the people that can kill me. But then it's like, oh. But then you're like, but to, he's 20 points. Shit just <laughs> runs to time, too. And then you're like, haha, that's 20 points you didn't get. That's right. That's right. But he's not easy to kill. He's not. That uh, cloaking on him is awesome. He's super awesome. Um, as much as I haven't, you know, and I haven't used Unkar's ability hardly at all in the game. What, what's his ability? Um, his ability is uh, at the end of the activation phase, you must assign a tractor beam token to each ship you are touching. But and people stay the hell away from him. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he kind of wants to get in there and have it. people colliding into him. That's it. That's his real goal. So, right on. So there you go, folks. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Uh, don't forget to go check out our Patreon, patreoncom slash Uh It gets you early access to all of our videos, so you can see those uh, usually the day they're recorded. Uh, as well, it gets you access to our Discord server, so that you can chat with us outside of our usual Thursday live stream. As well, it gets Ewok insurance, which really is an incredible value. We promise, we guarantee, you will never be eaten by Ewoks ever. Uh, this offer is null and void on the Forest Moon of Endor, just to be clear. So uh, thanks again for joining us, everybody, and we'll see you guys next time here on the map.